when we got him, I remember him looking at us like, I'm not really sure what you expect from me. I haven't been a pet before. I'm Ali, and this is Claude's story for Geo Beats. I loved the idea of rescuing a greyhound, but I didn't know anything about them. And they have a bit of an interesting reputation in Australia because in some places they still need to wear muzzles. We decided to go out to um, a fantastic place in Tasmania called Brightside, where they take in and rescue greyhounds and then help them find homes. The person that brought him to Tasmania had an idea of racing him and sort of lost interest and kept them in a paddock outside for two years before they surrendered them to Brightside. <coughs> as soon as we met Floyd, he just was so sweet. He stayed right next to us the whole time. He felt like he was the right dog for us. We brought him home and he didn't know his name. He hadn't really been indoors, couldn't get down the stairs, needed to be carried down our stairs until he got the hang of it because he's sort of like a horse. <laughs> we slowly built that trust with him. When he relaxed and opened up, he was just the most affectionate dog. <laughs> we have a son and I was a bit nervous about how that meeting was gonna go because we had Claude first. And from the moment we got home from hospital, Claude just curled up next to us on the couch. And there's been not one incident of him worrying us in any way. The cat loves him so much. We slowly introduced them and within days they were just cuddled up together, sleeping next to each other. Do you want to go for a run? Do you? Oh! We live near the beach and often we take him down there and you can see his face just light up. The freedom of being able to run around and he's just such a happy, happy dog. Do you want to go for a run? Yes! Come on then! When you see them running, it's quite breathtaking because they are so fast. He'll meet other dogs on the beach and often other dogs are kind of like, oh my God, what is that? Because it does look a bit strange. <laughs> he really doesn't seem like a pet or a dog. <laughs> he feels like his own sort of soul, like his own being. He surprises me more and more all the time with his sweetness, his gentleness, and his love, and his patience. <laughs> what he's brought to our lives is far greater, I think, than what we have brought to his.